Before I start the video, I just want to share with you guys a satisfying clip of me playing on my main today in Grandmaster ELO. So this is where I was feeding my ass off. Enjoy. Hey, how's it going guys? JC here. Welcome to episode 28 of the Iron Forge Design series. Today we're going to be playing Diana in the mid lane as voted by you guys. I managed to get a swap with Kennen, so he's actually nice enough to go into the top lane for us. Most of you guys would have known him from a previous episode. Anyways, OPLGG and the runes are on screen right now. So for those who are wondering about my build, this is what I'm going for, Rod of Ages into Ninja Tabby. So it's like a tanky TF build, and this build is very popular by Arc Second. So he's like a pro player who plays a lot of Diana, and I'm just going off of this guy's build. Also, runes are right here. You have Phase Rush, and then Mana Flow Ban. Usually you have Nullifying, but because the enemy is full AD, I change it up a little bit. Otherwise, you're supposed to go Nullifying. Oh. I forgot to ward the river, so I'm just going to do that. And yeah, right now all we just have to do is play safe. Get as much CS as possible. Once we get tanky enough, we'll be fine against Zed, I feel. Whoa, what was that Q? Okay. Damn, that hit me. I think because we have teleport, we're going to be in pretty good shape for the most part. Because we just teleport once our potions are used. Okay. His shadows are very scary. It does a lot of damage, especially if he lands the full combo. But for now, it looks like we're out farming. Oh, let's change this up. I just hope Cannon stays alive. If a Renekton gets fed, it's going to be very difficult for us. An enemy has been slain. Okay, well, so far so good. We'll pop one potion charge for now. Every time we cast an ability, we get three autos that attack really fast. I think that's what I've noticed about Diana's passive. On that, every third hit, we get a empowered auto. So it's kind of like Nico actually, except we're melee, so we can't abuse anything. But we still go on hit. Oh, Jarvin's coming in. Hmm, I don't really have much as Diana. Like, I was thinking of flash e but he'll just flash that, and then nothing will get done, so... I think we rely on Jarvan landing his EQ, and then I follow up with my E. Okay, that guy's missing. Okay, sweet. We push this in and then we go back. It's a pretty solid first back. 33 CS compared to his 21. Alright, I think this is a really good first back. So we have our Ruby and Sapphire Crystal along with Cloth Armor to survive his all-in level 6. And then once we come back, we should be able to get more components and also tabbies. And then after that, we shouldn't have any threat of dying to Zed and we should be able to start outscaling. Oh, 
Oh, nice. I completely mitigated the whole combo of the electrocute and everything. Nice, and we traded pretty well into that as well. Oh, the knock-up. No knock-up. Rip. I think that was pretty good, actually. That was a very good exchange for us, even though we got ganked. Okay, so let's go deeper and just get a ward in the river. Because this is our chance. And then after that, we just have to stay safe. Oh, he's going to hit 6 soon. We got the moon thing on him. Right now, my job is just to survive a combo. Just not get, like, killed by the Onex all in, because I know he has Ignite. So, as long as we stay on full health, I think we'll be fine. That cloth armor should be enough to keep us alive. Okay, Zed is missing. Oh wow, what a fiesta at bot lane. They just keep fighting. Okay, we pushed again. And looks like Zed is nowhere to be seen. He didn't even get low. I don't know why he went back so suddenly. But you know what? I'll take it. So, now we're getting a lot tankier than Zed. I think we have better items than him. I'm going to try to keep poking Zed now. So this is why I keep poking him. And then, once we trade a bit, I'll just teleport back to lane. And then just take over from there. That's the strategy. It's a high elo build, that's why it's so tanky, and, and it's very consistent build. It's not one of those full damage builds that can be punished. Okay, and phase rush so that when you jump on them, you proc it right away, you can back away, or you can chase. So you have a lot of flexibility. Oh, I hit him with that. Oh, rip. Man, this jungle is doing work compared to our one. And their bot lane's winning too. So we're gonna have to do some carrying this game. What? I really want to roam bot at the moment, so... Get a ward here. Get some deep vision for the river. What the hell? Wait, is he angry or something? Oh? Uh? Oh, I can't believe I missed my E. That would have been a kill. Maybe he was typing. I guess he wasn't on trolling. I mean, it happens to the best of us, I guess. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. Oh, no, 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 please. Oh, I guess they're gonna get two kills, but this MF is being annoying. Oh, so MF was the problem down there. Without her, they just got a double kill. Okay, let's see. I mean, if this MF knew how to play, I would try to coordinate a dive with her. But I'm not sure if she'll just let me die and not even help, so... Kind of monka S right now. Hmm. Oh my god, I want to dive so badly. 
<laughs> I really do. If she just ER'd, I would have went in. The moment I landed my Q. Okay. I don't get it though. Like, she's taking my EXP. Renekton's AFK. <laughs> what a game. And I guess I got my lane hijacked. Nice. I like this Jarvan. He knows that the MF is not going to help at all, so he went for the full combo. Oh, okay. And then my... Oh, she's not dead? Damn. I'm not sure how much damage my combo would do, but I'm going, like, really tanky at the moment. So I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't kill. Okay, I'll take it. Ah, oh, damn. Oh my god, okay. Looks like Zin's coming over, so MF might get punished pretty hard. Oh, we could actually 3v3 here. I would be down. Okay, I'll take it. Trade anything for MF is worth. Wait, can we? Oh, man. If Jarvan was with me, I'd go in. But it would be very risky. I'm just really tanky, so... I think I could have taken a couple of tower hits as well. And been fine. So, top tower is gone. Yeah, this looks like a free kill. And I know that MF will cover for me. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> I cocked his flash actually, that's pretty funny. So yeah, I kind of have to just come here and do this. Because I don't have a mid lane anymore. Since this MF is very hell bent on taking my farm. Alright, we'll push one more wave out. I really wish MF just goes bot. Because I don't know what the problem is, like, why can't she just stay bot? Okay, we can actually teleport here. And I have my Rod of Ages, this is huge. So yeah, MF is very sneaky. She basically leaves the lane when... Okay, looks like Kennen's going there, damn. She leaves the lane when it's the worst time, like, when she's supposed to be defending, she leaves, like, a huge wave to crash into the tower. Which is extremely troll, so if you let her have the lane, she'll leave it. But if you stay, she'll stay and compete for your CS. So like the worst kind of teammate, I guess. But we're going to go top and probably destroy this Renekton. If not, then we'll go mid since Kennen is rotating. I'm going to go mid and cover because these two can do Rift Herald. I'll just warn them, so if they keep pushing, it's beyond me, but 
Uh, they've been warned that Zed's going down there. Let's try to roam as well. Okay. We get Scuttle Vision here. I guess I should have been wailing on tower from the start, but it's just a decision I make whether it's Scuttle or mid tower. Obviously, mid tower's better. Okay, looks like Rift is gonna take this one. I don't think I can damage it fast enough. Oh, actually, with Jarvan we can. Okay, sweet. We have to back away. Hmm. I mean, Jarvan had EQ, so I thought he would have been fine if he just used it. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, rip. Pretty juicy. Oh my. Okay, so there's four top for no reason, and they didn't even try to engage on us. That's pretty interesting. So we can just go mid again. I haven't had an opportunity to use teleport, which is really strange because normally it comes with opportunity, it's just that. MF grouped on our lane, so... Oh, okay. Alright, he ignited me. He has no ult, so my next combo kills. Depends on what he does. If he's under tower, we should be able to dive him. Otherwise, we take a free tower. Really nice. Okay, let's head towards... Oh, he gave the free kill to Cass. Feels bad. I don't want to show myself just yet. Okay, now I can. Okay. Hmm. My ult has such a long cooldown if I don't combo it with Q. But it was just like element of surprise to one shot the Zed. So I guess we can push out bot lane. Oh, actually we can get Scuttle on oh, never mind. She has it. Ah! Damn, I was hoping to get the Q off so that I can reset my ult, but I didn't need to actually. Oh, Infernal Drake? I'll take it. Uh, very soon we also get Nashes too. Well, let's see if we can cast this 100 gold. Oh, feels bad. Alright, let's push our bot lane and then we should have enough for Nashes. Okay, we'll probably get a Gromp as well, so we're just split pushing for now. But we know that anyone that comes into our lane uh, doesn't really have a good chance of killing us anyway, so we're pretty safe. Oh, okay. I wasn't in range for my ult, so my character path backwards. It's kind of dumb. I feel like my Q and my ult should be the same range, but they're not. Hmm. Let's head towards mid and join this fight. Hmm, okay. Is Jarvan gonna go in? Alright, let's pick up Nashes here. Oh. 
Oh, okay, I was recalling on a ward. No wonder he did that. Alright, let's go back, get our Nashes, and then work towards Death Cap next. If we need tankiness, we can also go for... Oh, no. There's no need to teleport there. I feel like this game is going to end soonish. Uh, I have Home Guards, so I might be able to catch up to this. Ah, rip. Oh, actually. I need to use my E right away. That's what I've realized. Okay. Yes. Ah, oh, I'm so dead. Oh, okay. Oh! Okay. <laughs> I trusted in the J4. Alright, I'm selling my Dark Seal for a large rod. Because I lost my stacks. But yeah, I do feel like this game has been just all over the place because I couldn't seem to get a hold of my lane without being interrupted. So I didn't really get a proper lane phase and macro is just all over the place at the moment but we did get we did get all the important objectives also this kind of like Lee Sin where you just use an ability and then auto a few times just to maximize her passive so if I see someone I'm gonna jump in the term Q and then WR and then E when you oh my god Die. Holy mo- oh! Holy moly. I'll take it. This is the power of being tanky. Do I have enough damage? If I land my Q, I think I kill Lucian outright. Let's try. Alright, there we go. Okay, they respawn, so let's back away. Alright, very nice. Unfortunately, Diana doesn't have any... Oh my. Unfortunately, Diana doesn't have any real sustain, so... So we're going to sell our sustain and buy a large rod. But yeah, I noticed Diana has no sustain, so... If you go into a fight and then you're low health, you can't really heal up. Unless we go for like Ravenous Hunter or something like that. But even that's not reliable, it's not enough. So that I feel like is a really big drawback for someone that could be a split pusher and is a melee champion. Should have some sustain in their kit, but they don't. And don't typically build sustain either, this champion. Oh, hello. Okay, he did zero damage to me. I mean, he has Black Cleaver, which is really useless. Compared to Spear. I think they should all rush Spear. There's no reason not to. Oh. Oh, rip. Okay. Javan OP. This Javan has 15 kills already. We need to get our 10 kill benchmark. 
But yeah, I am fully aware for those that are new to the series. I'm just playing different champions based on votes, so I don't play this perfectly. But, you know, it gets the job done. Look at how hard we hit the tower. Every third hit is 500 damage. Oh wait, that one wasn't 500. I get my death cap here, so I think it's worth going back for. Alright, I guess we're getting our 10th kill. Oh, okay, never mind, they all ran. Ooh. Wait, we just one shot it. Oh, the Zin, I guess. Okay, we could end the game, but I just want to grab a couple of things. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. Okay, here we go. So let's join the family photo. We'll teleport on the minion that's tanking tower. Okay, here we go. This this is gonna be fun. Oh, I need to move though. Right, I think that's it for Diana. Oh. Ah. Okay, I survived. I survived. That's good enough for me. My W was coming up, so I was going to use my W and Q, and Lucian would have died, I feel. Because he has zero damage, and I'm too tanky. So I would have just, he would have dashed into me, did the two autos, I would have shielded with W, and then just queued, turned around and ordered. Um, I guess we'll honor Jarvan because he's the one that did well. Everyone else just like, I'm not sure what that Renekton was doing, but they were complaining a lot about him. So I guess he could be the reason for their downfall. Although we did have an MF that pretty much played the same as Renekton anyway. So it was supposed to be even, but Jarvan was OP OP. Looks like we got 12 kills. Let's have a look at the graphs as well. We did the most damage, so it's not like it's not like we didn't do anything. It felt like we didn't do anything, but you know what? We actually end up doing something. So there's a Diana game. I feel like this build is very consistent. So if you want to climb from the lowest all the way to the highest elo, you go for this build, and then you'll be perfectly fine. You'll be able to just not die, not feed, and you know end up getting a lot of kills, giving very little gold to the enemy team because you're just really tanky. So yeah, there you go guys, GG well played. Be sure to vote down below which champion we'll see in the next episode. I'll be sure to do it. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Cheers.